Hi, good morning everybody. Uh, I'm Mrs. Williams. I'm the Woodland Creature Teacher. Uh, welcome and thanks for visiting with us in room number nine. Um, we're going to be doing lots of learning today. This guy is... Mason aka Chicken Man. This is... Emma. And I'm Mrs. Williams. Like I said, I normally teach first grade and the Windsor C1 School District at Windsor Elementary. So I'm sending out lots of love to my woodland creatures at Windsor Elementary and all of my Windsor C1 family. Um, I want to go ahead and introduce a friend of mine. I told you yesterday that I would introduce you to uh, the reason that I am the woodland creature teacher. So this little guy right here is Hedgewig. He is an African pygmy hedgehog and he is the reason that I am the woodland creature teacher. He's kind of like our little mascot in woodland creature land at Windsor Elementary. Mace, can I give him to you? Uh, also, we wanted to introduce you to a couple of our other good friends because sometimes they may be appearing in our videos. This is Asta. She is a miniature schnauzer and we love her dearly. She is one of our canine friends. And this little fuzzball is Nora. Our new little puppy. She is our new baby girl and she makes us very happy. So we hope that She's you have lots of things in your house that make you happy. Um, today's shout out will go to the kids from Melville School District. Whoop whoop! I actually went to the Melville School District. I was an Oakville kid, but I love all of my uh, Melville School District fam. So hope you guys are having a great day and thanks for learning with us. Um, today, I'm gonna go ahead and teach you a math lesson. Um, it's designed for pre-K through first grade, but of course anybody is welcome to come and learn with us. And we love for you to come and grow your rainbow brain with us today. So thanks for visiting. Next up is Emma with the zone check because before we get ready to learn, we like to kind of check in on our body and brain and see how we're feeling and make sure that we are calm and happy and ready to learn because super sciencey people that are smart about brains and also teachers know that you learn your best when you are calm and happy. Okay guys, so if you are in the green zone, you are probably feeling pretty happy, kind of good to go. And so you might be able to complete your work, help other people, or reach your daily goals. I show the hand signal. Yeah, and the hand signal is like this. So that is the green zone hand signal. And then if you're in the blue zone, you might be feeling kind of sad, unhappy, upset, like tired of and you might need to think happy thoughts get a hug or draw a picture so this is the hand sign for blue zone and then if you're in the yellow zone you might be feeling kind of anxious or excited or kind of even maybe a little bit um hyper and so you might need to talk to an adult get a hug or take a deep breath this is the hand sign for yellow zone and then if you're in the red zone you will probably be feeling kind of mad, upset. You might even be feeling a little bit rage monster. So you might need to take a breath, check the size of your problem, or take a break. So that is like this. You're just out of control of yourself. So hope you're in the green zone. So next up are a couple strategies that you can use to get yourself to green zone. So if you are feeling blue, um, you might need to think happy thoughts or get a laugh. Um, so that's why we do our joke of the day with Chicken Man. Chicken Man, you are up. What do you Scoot call... over just a little bit, baby, so they what, can see you. What do you call dudes who love math? I don't know. What do you call them? Algebra, 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 algebra. Oh man, that's so funny. Okay, our next strategy is for more if you're feeling kind of yellow or red zone or just need to calm down and recenter. So this one's called rainbow breathing. And the reason it's called rainbow breathing is because you use your hands to kind of make a rainbow. So you're gonna take your hands out to your sides and you're gonna bring them up over your head. But as you do that, you're gonna breathe in through your nose. 
Watch me do it. Then turn your hands out and you're going to go down and breathe out. Do it again. Do two more. So jokes are a good strategy if you are feeling sad, down, and blue to get you out of the blue zone. And um, rainbow breathing is a good calming strategy to kind of focus and bring your body down to calm. Uh, next up is going to be our review. Um, we kind of started working on numbers yesterday. So we practiced, uh, we kind of learned about how numbers have a number form. So that's kind of their symbol. That's the number that you think about in the traditional sense. We can draw, show picture represent representations of the number like dots. And we also have the number word. Um, so today we're gonna go ahead and kind of review our numbers. The first thing we're gonna do is a little bit of jumping jack counting. Um, then we are going to practice writing. Uh, so if you need to and you have it available, go ahead and grab a pencil and a piece of paper or if you have a whiteboard and a marker. Um, and if you don't have any of those things, that's okay because I'll show you a way you can practice writing your numbers with me anyhow. Um, so let's go ahead and stand up. We're gonna count to 10 and then back down doing jumping jacks. Ready? Oops, looks like I gotta move my table out of the way. Ready? Here we go. We're gonna start with zero, right? Zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mace, do you wanna join me? Yeah. All right, we're counting backwards from ten. Here we go. Ten, <laughs> nine, Eight, seven, <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, thanks for your help. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and write our numbers. And if you don't have a whiteboard or marker or pencil or paper, that's okay. You can use your finger. Um, so. We'll start with zero. When we write zero, the hero, we start up here, come down and around and back to the top. Get a got a good? Now you do it. What comes after zero? If you said one, you're correct. And one looks just like this. It's just a line. So start here and come down. Good. Next up is two. So we kind of start here and go kind of halfway around and then come down to the bottom and over. Now, if you don't have a pencil or a piece of paper, what you can do right now is trace them in the air. Switch finger up. Go around, down, and over. Next up is three, and this is one of my favorites because it has a super cute little thing. It says, around the tree, around the tree. That's the way to make a three. Go ahead and finger trace it. Next up is what number? One, two, three, four. So we're gonna go, I kind of like to think of four as almost a square without a lid. So we go down, over, up, and you wanna just make that lid across the top, but you can't. Because on a four, you go back down to the ground. Do it right now. Next up is what number? Drum roll please. Five. So four to five, start here. 
Make a hat across, come down, and a belly back around. Next is number one, two, three, four, five, six. Start up here, six, go down and make a belly. All right, do you know the next one? It's gonna be seven. So across and down. That one's pretty easy. Just one line across and one line down. Next is eight. Eight is great. And you know what? There's a little trick for eight because sometimes eight is kind of confusing for kiddos, I find, but guess what? You got this. Everybody say, I can do this. You can. Watch, we're gonna make an S. But then we say, make an S, do not wait. Go back to the top, that's an eight. We've only got two more to go, guys. Yes. This one is number, what comes after eight? It's nine, you're right. And we say a loop and a line, that's a nine. Go ahead and trace your nine. If you're doing it with your finger, a loop and a line. That's a nine. And the last one is 10. Now Mace, come here real quick. So if you happen to have Play-Doh, this is something that you could be doing. Mason made a zero. Now I know that number 10 is made of two numbers put together. Do you know what number comes first in 10? One. It's the one. So first we'll make a one. We already did that. And next is Zero. Or you could say it's an O. No, that's different. If it's an O, that would be a letter, right? And we're using numbers right now. But next is zero, the hero. So that's a great idea, too. If you've got Play-Doh and you would like to build your numbers, you can do that. And watch this. See? Nothing Same thing. All right. Nice job, Mace. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is a little bit of addition. Everybody say, <gasps> what? Yes, addition. Your job today is going to be to be able to say, I can, you say it, add numbers, you say it, within 10, you say it. So the whole thing sounds like I can add numbers within 10. And right now you might be saying, but Mrs. Williams, what if I don't know? Everybody say, it's cool. We're going to grow our rainbow brains. Remember, when you're growing your brain, you're feeling good about yourself. Um, when you grow your brain, that makes you able to reach goals and uh, grow your brain muscles and be able to do more things. Um, so if this starts to feel tricky for you, take a deep breath and say, it's okay, my brain's growing. If you start to feel confused or it feels hard, that's a good thing because that means you're learning something new and you're challenging your brain to get bigger and stronger. So we're gonna do a little bit of addition. Um, I've got some cups here to help us out. Um, let's just say that you and I were doing a little cup stacking challenge and we had to add up the cups and Emma said, Hey mom, I think that we need to do two cups, two cups plus three more cups. Then I say, hey, Em, how many is that? Do you know that there's actually a special math sentence? Yes, a math sentence. I know we normally think about sentences when we talk about um, words and letters, but guess what? You can write a math sentence. There is a math sentence that goes with this. Everybody say, what? Are you serious? I really am. So check it out. If we have two cups and we want to add on or if we have three cups, let's start on this side because that'll make more sense to you guys. If we have three cups and we add on two more, we're gonna use the number symbol for three. And there's a special symbol that goes in the middle and it's called a pretty plus. Everybody put your one finger up like this and one finger up like this. Kinda looks like a T or a cross. This is a pretty plus. Everybody say pretty plus. Pretty plus. pretty plus means that we're putting two numbers together. So I'm going to put my pretty plus here 
to show that I have three and I'm adding on how many more? Count them with me. One, two. Now there is another special symbol that we use in a math sentence and it's called the equal sign. Kind of looks like this. It's two lines right on top of each other sideways. So three plus two equals. Kind of like a tilted peace sign. Kind of does look like a tilted peace sign. Peace out. All right, so now we could count these up and that is one strategy that we could use. But later on, our numbers will get bigger and we won't always be able to count them up. Yeah. Um, so in that case, you could use a number line. You could write your numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, down here at the bottom. All right, and you could use that to hop on because remember that when we're adding, we're counting on. Our number is going to get bigger. We started with three, but when we add two more on, we're going to end up at a larger number. So let's try both ways to do this. We could count them one, two, three, four, five. So we could say three plus two equals five. Another way for us to get our answer is to start at three. Here it is. And we can hop on two more. So we say start, one, two. So same idea, we get five. Wanna try another one? We're gonna try two more. All right, now make me a little tower. With how many? Okay. okay. Now if you have a dry erase board, you can leave your plus and your equals in place, just like I'm doing. If you have a pencil, you're going to start over with a new plus sign. Whoops, that one kind of went funny. Is it okay to make a mistake, guys? For sure. Everybody makes mistakes. Just got to fix them. All right, so Emma's got a super cool cup tower over here. Let's check and see how many she's got. One, two, three. Four. If you counted four, you're right. So we're going to put our four in here. And she's got, count them with me, one, two more. Remember, we're adding. So everybody say, pretty plus. So we have four plus two. So we can count these guys up. One, two, three, four, five, six. So four plus two equals six or gives us six. So four plus two more equals six. We can also use our number line. And hop on. You guys ready to finger hop with me? You can't finger hop if the cups are in your way. Sorry about that creatures. Ready? Here we go. We're starting with our bigger number. Four is the bigger number. How many are we hopping on? We're hopping on two. So start, one, two. If we go two hops past four, we hop on two more, we get six. Get it, got it good? All right, last one. Emma's gonna build us a new cup stack. Oh, these guys match. Did you notice that? These stacks look exactly the same. There are two cups on the bottom and one cup on the top. That means that this is a doubles fact. When the stacks are twins, we call that a double. How cool is that? I love doubles. Everybody say, yay, doubles. Yay, doubles. All right, so let's count and check. How many are we adding on? We've got this stack plus this stack. Here we go. One, two, three. If you counted three, awesome. Now, this looks like the exact same stack, but just to be safe and make sure that I do my best work, I'm going to count just to make sure. Here we go. One, two, three. So we have three plus three equals. Read it with me. Three plus three equals. 
So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we counted on three plus three equals six. If you like to use your hundreds chart to hop on, you would start at three and hop three more. So here we go. Start. One, two, three. Gives you the exact same answer. Both strategies are great. Use whichever one makes sense to you. You got it good? You got it good. All right. Next up. We. Next up is our. Um, we have 10 in the bank for you guys. It's our math song for today. So Emma's gonna help me out. You're gonna have to bear with our singing and the silly dancing. You can do the motions with us on this one. This one is called 10 in the bag. We're gonna scoot you just a little. There we go. You ready, Mace? Ma. Ma. The chicken is ready. So here right. we go. Whatever. Chicken man. We start with 10. 10. So we say, there are ten in the bed, and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over, and one fell out. How many do we have now? Nine. Okay, here we go. There were nine in the bed, and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Ouch. <laughs> How many do we have left? Eight. Eight. Here we go. There were eight in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. <laughs> How many do we have left? <laughs> Seven. Seven. There were seven in the bed, and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over, and one fell out. Whee. How many do we have left? <laughs> six. There were six in the bed, and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over, and one fell out. <laughs> How many here left, guys? Five. There were five in the bed, and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over, and one fell out. Man, this house seems very unsafe. Right? There were four in the bed, and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. How many do we have left, guys? Three. three. There were three in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. <laughs> How many do we have left, y'all? Two. There were two in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Oh man, these guys are wearing me out. How many are left? Just one. Man, that, one, that little one is super lucky. He has the entire bed all to himself. There was one in the bed, and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over, and one fell out. I thought it was none fell out. <laughs> there were none in the bed, so nobody said, roll over, roll over. Ouch. And no one fell out. Thank goodness, finally. <laughs> Thank goodness, finally no one is falling out of the bed. I'm really concerned for their health and well-being. All right, so we need to go ahead and check back in on our bodies and brains and check back in on our um, learning and see how we're feeling. All right, so we're going back to our toolkit. 
How are you feeling now? I hope that after you have done some silliness and some brain growing with us today that you are feeling green zone and good to go. But if you're not, if you're feeling blue zone, maybe try a joke like chicken man or draw a picture, or think some happy thoughts, get a hug. If you are feeling super excited, sometimes that's okay. If you are super excited, had a little too much fun and got a little too silly, maybe try some of that lazy eight breathing that we practiced the other day or um, go ahead and try some rainbow breathing. Uh, if you are in red zone and you're just having a womp womp, sad, unhappy, uh, kind of out of control day, get help from someone at your house. Um, use one of our strategies and do your best to get yourself back to green zone so that you can work and learn and be happy and helpful in your house today. Um, just remember some rules that we kind of like to live by in our house and in Woodland Creature Land at Windsor uh, is rule one, um, be safe. That means that you're keeping your hands, your feet, and your things inside of your space bubble. Um, make sure that you are washing your hands really good and that you um, ask your adults before using um, any TV, going to any new TV channels or any websites or games. Um, make sure that they're adult approved first, that they're safe for you. Rule number two, be responsible. Do something to grow your brain today. Do your schoolwork, um, clean up after yourself and be a helpful member of your household. Rule number three, be respectful. Use nice words no matter who you talk to today. Treat other people the way you would want to be treated and follow your adult's directions right away. That means fast, but with walking feet. Rule number four, make yourself proud. Make sure that today you are making the best choices that you can make and that you're growing your brain um, to try and meet your goals. Remember a good rule is if you think of doing something and you say, oh man, I can't wait to tell my friends and my grandma and grandpa, mom, dad, cousin, aunt, uncle, teacher, principal, then it's a good choice. And that's something that's gonna make you feel good inside. Uh, if you start to do something and you think you might need to be sneaky about it, or you wouldn't wanna tell somebody that's important to you, then stop. That's your brain's way of telling you, don't do it. That's a bad choice. Um, so I hope that you make great choices today and that you have a fabulous day. Thanks for visiting.